Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start routing the, uh, the belt. The belt's going to go in from the outside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to make it a little extra long. So I'm going to tighten this up. And basically, when you tighten the zip tie, you want the teeth of the timing belt to mash into each other. That, that's going to help keep it uh, zip tied. Because if you don't do that, it could wiggle its way loose. And I'm going to zip tie it pretty tight. So I'm going to run the belt. And the reason why this is a smooth idle is because this is going to be interfacing with the smooth side of the belt. So I'm going to use the belt to kind of help guide me into the right position. This takes some patience too, I'm going to be honest. The belt's going to be routed all the way around and, and reconnect back to this side of the carriage, right? Alright, so right here, so it runs to this outside pulley, right? But when we come back in to this to this uh, pulley mount, we're going to be on the inside pulley. So this one right here. The belts are basically going to cross. So whatever you do, try to make sure your belt doesn't twist, you know, 90 degrees on you. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it in from the outside of the carriage. And we're going to zip tie it, give yourself some extra room here. All right, so I'm gonna tight. I'm gonna get this pretty tight. I'm gonna kind of lift this up and push it in while I pull this section right here pretty tight. Because we have the motors pushed up, right? So we have a, a you know, you can get more tension after everything's zip tied. You can just pu push these motors back. Alright, so the smooth side of the belt is going to interface with the smooth pulley. Alright, so I'm going to bring the gantry over close to the motor because we have to uh, position this uh, pulley here. So I'm going to move the flat of the motor shaft towards me where I can see it and I can line up one of these set screws with that.
Now, because of the position of our pulleys, one of these, uh, this one, this motor right here, we're actually going to flip this upside down. Okay, that's so we can get the, the distance right. Okay, so the tooth should interface with the tooth of the drive pulley. So I'm going to kind of loop this and squeeze it in here. I'm going to take the slack out of it. <clears throat> then I'm going to run the extra belt through the back side of this carriage. It's just going to kind of hover back there. Uh, yeah, keep pulling. I got it. This takes a little patience, too. Because the whole time you're doing this, the belt will be trying to slip out of place. And it, it'll drive you mad. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pull on this so it butts up. So the, basically so the carrier stops moving on me. And I'm going I'm to keep tension on the belt as I route this through this back idler back here. Grab on the belt and pull it through. The timing belt coming from the motor mount runs through the X carriage. It doesn't, doesn't grip anything. The only time it actually interfaces with the uh, mounts to the X carriage is when it comes off the Y carriage, it goes to the, it interacts with the pulley here, right? It runs this backside, then it's gonna cross over. This is where our belt crossing is. And you don't have to do it this way. You could do it kind of like an H-bot where the pulleys are, uh, are stacked all right so I'm gonna keep tension on this and this is gonna run through here so you want to you want to move it back and forth and you want to look for is there any spots that that's tight so i'm gonna move it up here over down and this way and what i'm checking for is there any spots that the belt gets tighter or gets or it gets looser right so is there any variation in belt tension because because belt tension is key but it looks pretty good uh different belts will fit differently so you you know if you use a random belt it may by the time it squishes down into the pulley it may throw the alignment of the belt path off just slightly this one this one works uh this is a new belt this is a ziltec belt it's a little bit thinner than the regular uh g uh the regular gates belt um so what happens is the belt path, uh, the position gets thrown off. I mean, it's just slightly, but I don't have any belt tensioning issues. And everything's just about running parallel. You know, I'm probably still gonna, you know, you're gonna fine tune it as you move it around more and more. Okay, so I have this extra belt, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do, I have these extra holes in here now you want to use the, the the skinniest zip ties you can get so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this zip tie actually you want to come in from the inside we're going again all right
All right, so I'm, I'm pulling from the inside, but also pushing from the outside. If you just pull from the inside, uh, it may kind of get caught on the teeth of the zip tie and not actually pull in. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to push that all the way in. And this extra, the excess belt right here, I'm going to fold it. I'm going to tuck it in and run it through that loop of the belt. Right, and to actually get the way I want to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab the belt with some pliers from the other side so I can pull it flat. 